Dave. Is it onwards to the airport, please? Oh, OK, darling. We, yeah, this was hard work the whole trip. It, um, went to bed quite late, then got up and went to Halifax the next day. Is that the next day? That was the next day, yeah. For the dino comp, um, where we met the mighty, uh, the, with the white knight, <laughs> Seb, <laughs> Seb. Um, who's just the most glorious man ever. Uh, he's, he's ten foot tall, uh, the handsomest man, I think he's Mr. <laughs> Universe currently. Um, he's, also, um, he's also working on his PhD. This guy's got too many talents. And he's climbs harder than anybody else. I'm uh, Sebastian Pacey Smith. I am a climber out of Fredericton, New Brunswick. It was fun, they had um, 15 dino problems and normally you think of a dino comp where it's just like jug to start and then a whole bunch of feet and then basically a jug that just moves sort of further up um, at like a 45 degree angle but this one's were, were sort of comp style dinos so 15 ranked in order of easiest to hardest but all sorts of different ones so there were some like double clutch dinos, there were some running start dinos that I know you had fun on. We went up against him in the dino comp. <laughs> we were dead even. Um, then decided to go for a super final of pad sumo wrestling. Um, so we had a couple of just smashes. Uh, pretty fun. And then I got sneaky. After a few sort of bouncing off each other, I realised, oh, there's no way I'm going to knock this guy over. I'm just going to go for a huge run up, and he just neatly stepped out of the out to the side. <laughs> charge me, I dodged out of the way and he just collapsed onto the ground and took the victory. <laughs> and then of course I went and jumped on top of him and we were both sort of stuck in like the turtle mode where you're on the ground and can't get up. I mean I still firmly believe you could have taken him if you like, had a slightly different tactic. Mate, what, just kick him in the kneecaps? <laughs> just, just barrel roll into his <laughs> knees, um, <laughs> make him fold over the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then we, um, then we went out with Seb and Ben to yeah. Dover Island uh, the next day which was just glorious. Go wherever the wind blows Love will fly up in your bones ah, ah. Beautiful scenery. Incredible finds. Yeah, Dover Island basically looks like aliens have come down and crafted what they think the moon should look like on Earth. Yeah, out <laughs> of sandpaper. Yeah. It's the sharpest rock I've ever climbed up. A dope island uh, in the middle of the ocean and it's all rocks. If you're an animal, it's not great, but if you're a human that likes rock climbing, it's <laughs> dope. <laughs> People warned me sort of the whole trip of, oh, Dover Island, that's got sharp rock. I was like, yeah, we'll see. And now we're here, I was like, oh my god, like they weren't kidding. For how much rock there is, not as many climbs as you'd expect, but the ones that are here are like, especially Excital, the one I did first. Just like five star, it's so good. Fantastic, best climb I've done all trip.
So very happy I got that. Uh, it was sort of trip psych of, I have to do it now. <laughs> um, <laughs> All the factors are telling me that I must do <laughs> this. <laughs> um, but then we just burned through my skin doing it. So shout out for Ben, who oh God, yeah. was incredibly modest in his interview, but seems to just put up endless V13 and V14 ascents, not really tell anyone about it. He's not, he's not doing it for that. He's, um, he was trying a new project near some of the boulders me and Seb were trying. I just couldn't even pull on. The longest running start <laughs> for a boulder problem ever, <laughs> from about 20 meters away. Oh, that was yeah. good. things I noticed on this trip actually is that I think Eastern Canada, <laughs> as was highlighted to us by a lot of people when we said we we're here for a climbing trip, isn't a known destination for climbing. Um, a lot of people went, you, why are you on this side? You should be in Squamish. And actually the main main thing I've noticed is every, even though there's not that much climbing around, when you do find it, it's really good because everyone's super psyched on it. Well, everyone's it's super psyched. And the rock. really strong. The rock's really good. And like Jesus, the scenery has yeah. been... No, it's... it's. Oh, actually, I haven't been to Squamish, so I don't know, but it's probably better on this side. <laughs> it's better than Squamish, <laughs> yeah. based on real hard <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> So we went to uh, a la uh, an area called Land of Confusion, which might be a good name for this entire trip, <laughs> um, <laughs> to climb with Seb one more time, and um, got on a V10, which right before I started, Seb kindly told me, oh, I flashed it, by the way, though. Uh, I was like, oh, well, let's do it. And then just had my skin eaten by it for a good half hour before I did it. headed across the road to just a different area of land of confusion where I again got on a V9 knowing that Seven flashed it, didn't flash it, got close and then just very, peeled very off close. it about four times. Very close. Two times, I think I did a third go. You so. did a third go, yeah. yeah that's not bad. Really, really close, I think we were going to get a first go. Super close. Right and then uh, got on the V11 expecting the same thing to happen and... Yeah. 
Really happy. First year left flash. Um, we're gonna, okay, well, we're gonna go and get dinner tonight, and then we're probably gonna miss our flights in the morning. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, we if we don't, then we'll be back in London and back to work tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and then it's gonna be that really weird time where I'll just drop you off at your house and wave you goodbye. No tear in our eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Fade to black. There we go. Bye, Louis. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Moth. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I've got to get my stuff back. Um, oh, this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's come back. <laughs> Bye, Louis. Okay. Thanks for all the fun. Bye. Bye. You said you got it back for what you needed. Come on now. What you care?